Right, ninth hole here, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to caddying for Dave, really. 344 yards, stroke index 16. Not a hole where Dave would get a shot off his new handicap, which has come down a little bit in the last couple of months. So, looking at this here, we can see a great par 4 here. Not long, but it's one that Dave says he often struggles with. Yep. And where's the ball normally go, Dave? Um, it normally goes in either the left hand bunker or the right hand bunker left or, or right hand bunker so down would be lovely. either or not in the middle there's two bunkers either side and he's normally in those as opposed to on the green right so dave's going to take his aim down the left hand side of the fairway at the halfway house which unfortunately at this time of the morning is not open because we could do with a coffee but or even a bacon sandwich or even a bacon sandwich would be better so dave again aiming down the left consistently here using the tee box so it seems here with the way the holes work here at garforth that's the best place for dave to aim so again fading it back to the middle he can carry the one on the left the one on the right does come into play if he does leak it a little bit right, but hopefully not. Like Although he has leaked it right, but it's far enough right to completely miss the bunker and be closer to the trees. So Dave, over there. Let's go and see if we can find that one, how we're going to get out there. The only benefit is from that angle, it does open up. <laughs> the green. So Dave in his natural habitat in the trees so we have got 150 just over there on the other side of the fairway so because of the mist Dave's bush not picking it up but I've got I'm going to say 160 for Dave so Dave's going to come in here but you'll see the gap we have got everyone always finds a gap but we've got to get it through that gap over the bunker and down there but it's not trying to take on too much here so again people off this kind of aisle let's have a look the lie's not too bad but we've got to get it through that kind of gap so again we want a little bit of loft to get it over the bunker but not too little loft that it's going to go straight into the bunker face so for me here dave we're going to go six iron okay. so your trusty six iron the longest iron in dave's bag and we're going to start it in the middle of this bunker here if we go up the left hand side we can see that the pin is in the middle of the green if i can zoom in and see that so middle of the green we've got a dog walking across and a dog walker so we'll try not to get them again Dave wants to just get out there be able to have a chip shot or a pitch shot to get there from here Dave's not necessarily going to get to the green so take his medicine get out towards the bunker over there and then be able to then pitch onto the green and have a chance at a put not a shot on here so hopefully we don't drop one but let's go with that six iron Dave so alignment key here. Dave's not going to try and hold this down. Dave's just going to make a normal motion. We're not holding it off because too many people send this too low and it goes straight into the bunker. So nice clean contact out of there, Dave. Happy as Larry. Yeah. Happy as Larry. So out of there, normal motion there for Dave. Not trying to keep it down. Not trying to help it. That's what I see a lot of people struggle with mid handicappers trying to hold it off using something like a four iron it either goes straight into this bunker or otherwise it doesn't even reach there he normally had gone with that four rescue and tried to chip it through yeah so normally dave says there he would have gone with a four rescue which would have maybe gone into that bunker or it makes it very difficult to get enough loft and get us back into safety so don't go too little loft think about it one good tip i will show you shortly you can't do it in a competition round but it's a good way to see how your clubs are going to launch right, so you can see dave's track straight past this bunker so a little fade there for him it's come perfectly and now we've got a nice pitch shot to a front pin so again i'll show you now how to test what kind of launch angle you should get off your clubs. Okay, so Dave's going to demonstrate here, if you put your club down and you stand so it's then flat to your foot, that is how that club is expected to launch. So you see there, even for a six iron, it is very low. If Dave did have a four iron, you'll see that it's launching too low, and if there's anything in front of you, it's going to hit that. So a great example, a great thing to test when you're practicing and you are in the trees see what launch you've got so here we've got 40 yards to the flag plenty of dew on the ground the green has been cut though this morning it's like they know dave was out here early so we're going to think about what kind of club dave's going to use what would you normally use dave i would be thinking me 
50 degrees. 50 degrees. So Dave's going to play more of a bump and run, but it's going to be a landing three quarters of the way. Yep. So some would say you could use the hybrid here in the summer if the conditions were dry, there was no dew on the ground, then we could use the hybrid, get the ball rolling and get it chasing up towards that. But because there's some dew on the ground, Dave wants to carry it a little bit further and then let it trickle up. So probably just over those tire tracks, Dave, so halfway. So just over those tracks there. Just like that. And the dew there slowed it down a little bit, but we've got an outside chance at a par. Again, Dave's given himself a lot of chances for putting here, and a lot of people will say he just needs to hold a few more putts. Percentage-wise, Dave's had a lot of six to eight footers or longer. You've got to think, tour average from six feet is 75%, but that's tour average. So for Dave, so, so Dave, off his handicap of 12, we're probably looking at, if they're holding one in three, Dave's probably looking at one in seven, one in eight. So we've got to be realistic with what we're expecting to hold. But here, we've got around about 15 feet. So Dave's going to go through his green read, have a good look. Again, a big thanks to Garforth for letting us out here early this morning. And big thanks to the green keepers. Great job this morning. They've cut the greens. It seems we're playing nice and early for this filming. So... What have you got this, Dave? Oh, it's straight. It surprises me. Dave's got this straight. So let's see. He's done his aim point. Let's see how that works. He's gone through his routine. This is a big thing. And Dave there saying that he thinks it's straight but sounds surprised. That's what a lot of amateurs do. If you don't see anything, if you don't feel anything, there can be the elusive straight put. So don't try and see something that's not there. Let's give it a roll. Let's test that out. And if it's then, you simply see that there is break. You know, that's something you need to go and have a lesson on, something you need to work on to help you lower your scores. So, just moved a little bit left to right there on Dave. It did start a little bit right. I don't think there was much movement in there, but... I think I actually bottled it and aimed a bit right, if I'm honest, Chris. Dave thinks he's bottled it and aimed right. So, two bogeys to start the nine holes, two bogeys to finish it, but Dave's still two under his handicap, so there we are looking... Oh, three bogeys to finish, actually. So, Dave's five over after nine holes, so he's still under his handicap, but we move on to the back nine now, which Dave has mentioned is the harder of the nine. So, let's see if we can get Dave through, let's see if we can beat his handicap, and we'll see you again next week.